We are taking a live look right now. This is along I-70 near Thomas Springs and Green River. Look at the caution sign right there on the interstate. Standing water possible. Use caution. And even our camera getting blown around a little bit. Oh, and you can lighting. see some lightning in that shot, too. Yeah. Let's toss it on over to Dan Pope. He's tracking all that for us this afternoon. Dan, yeah. man, we oh. got it right there. There it is, lightning, and we've had thousands of lightning strikes today. I mean, even right now, we could pinpoint every lightning strike. There would be probably four or 500 in the last five minutes. It is that active, and we had a really heavy rainstorm move through Washington County, and so a flood advisory in effect until 615. We have other areas that are getting hit hard now from looks like Veo over towards the hurricane sand dunes. This is moving northeast, so it will impact Zion National Park. The thing is, is it's not as heavy as it was earlier, but it's still a big problem. Big thunderstorms right now across where I, where the uh, SR-20 intersects with US-89 and over here in the Southwest Mountains and then northward towards the Tusher Mountains. This is that burn scar area, the Silver King burn scar, Marysville right here and then uh, Circleville to the south, a couple of big thunderstorms. And then we look at uh, a number of storms now coming out over the house range and then western portions of Millard County. This will impact areas near Delta shortly. We're already seeing the thunderstorms. There's right across Clear Creek Summit, pardon me, Salina Summit and then also to the south of Nebo, Mount Nebo, and over the Uinta Basin. We have a new flash flood warning now in effect until 730. This includes an area south of Green River, along the Green River. This is heading towards Arches. Here's a different perspective without the watch on top of it, so you can see this is a large complex of thunderstorms. It's going to impact Arches and uh, Moab. So we've had a number of flash flooding events this week in Moab. The last thing you need is another one, but here it comes. It's all part of a line of storms that's been severe today. Some of them uh, producing some heavy rain in Vernal, some of them producing heavy rain, as you can see here across the, uh, looks like the Salinas, no, this is the, the um, uh, Cis Levan and uh, Santaquin. And so down to south over to the uh, summit, there is some heavy rain there. And also the Uinta Basin from about uh, on top of the V down towards Dry Fork Canyon over Little Mountain and the U getting up uh, some pretty heavy gusts of wind and also some thunderstorm activity. So far, not much here in the north, but I expect that will change tomorrow. So far, we're expecting the heaviest rains to be in this shade of yellow. Tomorrow, rain heavy at times could be in this area of green. So we're certainly not going to see anything quiet. We're going to see actually more precipitation. 96 degrees in Salt Lake City today, 88 in Vernal, 83 in Price. Noticeably cooler where those thunderstorms have been passing by. St. George, the rain has stopped. The temperature has dropped 81 degrees. Oh, feels so good, doesn't it? Smells good. Finally some rain. Here in Salt Lake City, we are 92. We have a south wind at 6. It's 24% uh, humidity, so it's a little drier here. Numerous showers and thunderstorms likely to reform again on Monday across much of the state. There will be areas of flash flooding, lightning, uh, heavy rain, hail. Uh, remember, don't drive through any water on the road. Turn around, don't drown. And if you're going into the canyons or the arroyos, think twice. This is not a good time to go. If you do, have a plan of action. The same thing goes for Tuesday. Very active here, uh, decreasing in St. George, but very active across northern Utah. Some scattered thunderstorms will remain, especially over the Uintas, the Uinta Basin, and southwest Wyoming. Before we get a little uh, drying on Thursday and Friday, but a deep low pressure, and hopefully this is going to help firefighting, that it doesn't bring a lot of wind, but maybe it'll bring some rain. But look at this, we have monsoon moisture coming back north on Saturday and Sunday uh, of next week and Monday as well. So here we go, folks. We're actually in a monsoon pattern, finally. 82 for Evanston, 89 in Vernal, 83 degrees Park City. We've got 94 for Delta, 91 in Ely. Numerous showers and thunderstorms likely tonight, tomorrow, and into Tuesday. Probably in the morning Wednesday, there's an isolated threat over the mountains. And uh, then looking for the uh, monsoon return again, as we mentioned. 94, 89, and 88. Cooler temperatures as the showers and storms decrease on Wednesday and then return on Saturday and Sunday as we have a very active weather pattern. But how about these two days highs in the upper 80s? That'll feel good. It hasn't been that cool for quite a while.